more. Okay. Top five Intel motherboards. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because I've tested them all now. And now I can give definitive answers on all these things. Even my coffee, my iced coffee is warm now. It kind of sucks. I don't even want to open it. Okay. Number, and I'm gonna give the the uh, the five best motherboards and the reasons why they're the best. Okay, or not the best, but um, well, yeah, the best. My reasoning behind why they're the best. Okay, now number one, you guys all know I've bought four of these damn things already. Z590 i Unify ITX, best motherboard for 10th gen and 11th gen CPUs. Best on all on all fronts. It's got it all. It's got everything. Um, it's got everything. I don't even know how to like highest RAM OC. You know what? How am I gonna list this out here? Like this. Highest RAM OC. Um, most features. Jesus. Um, Thunderbolts. iGPU. It's just got it all. It's got everything, dude. Um, a slew of USB ports, Wi-Fi. It just it has everything imaginable on this board. Okay. Um, and the most important thing of all, it just works. Can not stress that enough. It just works. I can even show you guys after we finish the list. I will literally go into my BIOS, punch in 4,600 RAM speed, and it will train on the first try. It's insane. You cannot put a price on that. No other motherboard does that, dude. Only this one. Maybe the Unify X would, but this is the only one that I have tested where you can punch in any fucking RAM speed you want and it will spit it back out on the first train. It's insanity. It just works, dude. It just works. Um, That's my number one. But I've bought four of these boards now. I'm not sponsored or anything like that. It's just, I test everything and then whatever the best is the best. You guys know me. I, just, I buy the best for myself. So if I'm using the board, you know it's gonna be the best one, okay? Um, number two, Z490 Apex, not 590. Number two, um, I would say the main reason is Asus BIOS slash ease of use. It is really damn easy to overclock on this board. It really is. Like, okay, you gotta hand it to uh, Asus for that BIOS, okay? They, it really is. Um, another underrated feature is um, SP rating for chips. Another handy ass feature. It lets you bin shit way faster, right? If you're into that kind of crap. One thousand hertz VRM switching frequency. What this does, it allows you to run a lower V core without blue screens and crashes. It keeps the voltage regulation steady as shit. If this one is much better than this one, so like. I have to run quite a bit more voltage into my core on this motherboard and it runs a bit hotter as a result right so you could say that this one overclocks CPUs better it's not gonna change your maximum possible overclock it's just gonna make it run a bit cleaner does that make sense that that's that's so if you have like a really low SP chip, maybe go with this one. So you don't have to crank the V cores high, right? Like a really low silicon quality. Do you know what I mean? But on my wife's rig, she's running this right now and the V core is not very high. It's just an SP81, right? Very like moderate silicon quality. 
Okay, number three. I think that's it for this one. This one does not have an iGPU though. No Thunderbolt. No, it's it's featureless. And the uh, the PCI Express slot spacing is not ideal either. So don't get this one if you're interested in any kind of workstation application. Um, it's it's like you know what this is. This one is the easiest overclocking board to get started on. That this is the one that you buy. This is the so like if you're if you're new to the overclocking scene, this one will not let you down. It's easy as shit to get running. Okay, number three, um, Z490 Unify, the four dim. And the only reason this one is number three is because some people are coming from ninth gen, which was T topology. So four RAM sticks worked better on ninth gen, right? And they're coming to the 10900K, which is Daisy Chain. This oh and 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 actually Meg Ace. These are the same board. Um these ones are the best ones for four dim overclocking. Tenth gen four dim. So if you're coming from ninth gen and you already have four sticks of B die, or if you have four sticks of Vipers or whatever, you're looking at these ones. And these ones are gonna give you the highest RAM overclocks, right? Gigabyte Aces, Azrock, they all have complete dog shit for dim overclocking. Dog shit. You have to get one of these ones. If you don't believe me, it sounds like a you problem. Cause trust me, I've tested that shit. That's literally the only reason why this one is on number three. It's the best four dim motherboard is these two. Only reason. That's it. Number four. I don't know if I should put the cheapest budget one or the workstation one. Okay, the, the, the next two are the best workstation E one and then just the cheapest best one. The best bang for buck, period. Um We'll go with the workstation one, I guess. The best workstation you one, Z590, Aorus Ultra slash Master. These ones are the best if you... Something in my eye. These ones are the best if you want to play and work on the same board. You can have your 64 gigs of B die. You can clock them really high with these boards. They have iGPU. They have three NVMe slots. They have three PCI Express slots. So, and a 10900K and 11900K workstation, like workstations are extremely viable. Like if you have a 10900K with the quick sync and uh, NVENC encoding, like uh, acceleration all enabled, on the same motherboard you're laughing dude you know how fast you're gonna encode shit you're laughing um and if you have 64 gigs of b die you're going to hit the limit of the imc before you hit the limit of the motherboard in terms of memory overclocking so that's why you want to go with these ones and they have proper spacing on the slots no weird funky shit like like msi does like weird shit like four nvme slots and like eight lanes to one slot and all this whack shit these these ones are literally the only ones that just have a regular ass setup N never mind the vrms on these ones are complete overkill that you can render a video for 20 hours straight and the vrms wouldn't even get hot you know what i mean so these are the ones if you want to work and play on one machine that's these ones no the other all the other ones i recommended does don't have like the um, robustness of the workstation that the ultra and master have okay number five just best bang for buck 
Z490 A Pro from MSI. It's like $150. It's the cheapest board you can get. It has like no features, but it will run a 10900K, no problem. It can get 4,000 RAM speed on B die, no problem, for $150. That's it. That's just literally it. There's nothing else with this board. It can run the fastest chip and it can run the fastest RAM for the most part. And so this board for $150 can max out your Warzone FPS. That's it. So if you're just broke ass and you just want something that just works with no like, you're not looking for features. You just want some damn FPS for the lowest pair it with like a 10850k god dude you're you got a good system here a pro so you got an a pro for 150 10850k for 330 throw some uh four vipers on there right uh what is that 220 dollars bro 700 dollars and you're looking at like 250 fps in warzone not with the gpu and shit you know what i mean